knock, knock. Who's there? Vegas. That really doesn't work, does it? Ladies and gentlemen, today we are in Las Vegas. To be very specific, we are in the Fremont downtown area of Las Vegas. And what we figured we would do is give you a little tour, but in Sandy and Jed style. So like really kind of erratic and like- Yes, all over the place. With zero plans. <laughs> so the only plans we have for sure is number one- We're gonna eat. We are gonna eat. If you're familiar with the Las Vegas Strip, there's tons of celebrity run restaurants and all kinds of food out there. But I think there's a lot of hidden gems here in Fremont. There are, there's some absolutely delicious restaurants down here. So we can't can't wait to share those with you. What we're gonna do is basically kind of a, a DIY food tour. We're gonna go to a couple different restaurants and try like what are some of their signature dishes or their most popular dishes. While we're roaming around doing that, we're gonna show you Fremont, show you some of the artwork down here, which is also amazing. That's like one of the reasons, well, between the food and art, those are enough to get me down here. Food and art tour, DIY, Jed and Sandy style, go. Uh, Cheese. First stop of the day is the donut bar here in Las Vegas. They have some of the best donuts in the world, at least that's what the sign says. And we are going to try a whole bunch. We've got a strawberry donut, we got a creme brulee one. What else do we got? All kinds of good stuff. They're good. We're like a Nutella one. Really excited to try these. But their little shop is also really cute. They have this cool fish tank with all these donut objects in it. And then the. Yeah. And then the bathroom is actually really cool. What do you think of the bathroom, Jed? It's pretty. Homer Simpson would approve. Yes. So decorated in Simpson stuff. So it's a really cool place. This is something you definitely want to try while you're here. But we're going to save it for the end of the video because any good adult saves their dessert for the end of the day. So we're going to save these for later. These days when you walk down Fremont Street, it actually smells absolutely incredible outside. It makes me really hungry, which is why the next place we're headed to is a place that we've been before and we absolutely love. We're headed to Carson Kitchen. So our two favorite dishes to get at Carson Kitchen has to be the crispy chicken skins and the devil's eggs. eggs. So the crispy chicken skins are just the skin of the chicken, which in our opinion is the best part. And then you get to dip it in this smoky honey. So it's got this sweet, well, it's got this crunchy, salty taste, and then you have the smoked honey, which, I mean, the sweet, the salty, the crunch, it's, it's amazing. And the devil's eggs, I know a lot of people don't like deviled eggs. However, these have pancetta and caviar. As you bite into this, you'll feel the little, the little caviar crunching and popping in your mouth, which adds a little bit of a briny flavor to it, and a little bit of salt from the pancetta, and the creaminess of the egg, it is, to die for. So if you had to pick, you could only have one of those two, what would you pick? Both. <laughs> I, I honestly can't choose between the two because they are absolutely incredible. Yeah, so have one of each. Right next to Carson Kitchen, there's an alleyway that's full of art and murals. Nice little place to kind of walk off some of that food that you just had. We have a library, there's a theater for puppets, there's a piano room. Unfortunately, it's all locked up right now. I don't know when it's open. Definitely worth checking out. Worked up that appetite again. Not that we ate a whole lot earlier, but the next restaurant we're going to check out is called Therapy. We really needed some therapy, so. Uh, <laughs> it worked out pretty well. <laughs> worked out pretty well. So that was so good. We had these red velvet chicken and waffle. So the waffle is a red velvet waffle. It's got crispy fried chicken on it, a spicy roulade, and some lettuce and then you get some syrup that you can kind of drizzle over it all as well. I've never thought I'd be so happy to see a dill pickle covered in syrup. It was sweet, it was spicy, it was savory, it was crunchy, it was chewy with the waffle. It's like... <laughs> Just a great combination Amazing. of flavors. <laughs> Onto the corn that we had, it was basically deep fried corn with cojita cheese. Cilantro. Yeah, yeah. cilantro. Oh, and tahin. Like it's, it's seasoned with tahin. Again. The cojita is like really sharp. You had the cilantro, which tastes like cilantro if you don't like cilantro maybe it's not the dish <laughs> or for you soap, depending or like soap <laughs> depending on you know your genetic marker that's a true fact unlike the false facts which i mean if we you look we up, do give false facts occasionally we here. do we do the the corn is actually something that would be really good with like a cold beer or something like that yeah because it's really like salty and just delicious if you're here definitely check out therapy as well because oh so good 
yet another place that has a huge extensive menu and I would eat everything on I that would menu. I try everything. I want to try everything. So we have been walking around again, just looking at all the amazing art. There is a ton of it. Especially the gigantic murals that are all over the place. They're, like you can walk down all of these streets surrounding Fremont and you will not run out of art to look at. And a lot of it was done as part of the Life is Beautiful Festival. So a lot of these were, I don't know exactly how far back they go, but I know that at least one of them goes back to like 2013, 2014. And they've painted these big, beautiful murals as part of that festival. So kind of cool to see too. It's pretty we cool. might have to try to make it to that festival one day. Add that to our bucket list. Okay, now for a place that I may or may not recommend. This here is the infamous 99 cent cocktail. Kind of cocktail. It's a shrimp cocktail. So not like the good kind with alcohol. No, so this has actually been 99 cents since like 1976. This shrimp cocktail looks like it might be from 1976. But I tried to tell him this was supposed to be a good food video. <laughs> I think a lot of people are curious on how this is. Yeah, they have like the tiny little shrimp. He even bought two of them like I was going to eat it, but I am afraid Sa I'm going to have to decide. Sandy won't eat it. <laughs> Dig down in there and get that other stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get some of the cocktail sauce. So it's not bad. I'm not saying it's good. It's edible and it's it's 99 cents. I've actually convinced Sandy to take a bite. Against my better judgment. So Jed actually, every single time that we come to Vegas and we come down to Fremont Street, Jed has to get one of these shrimp cocktails and I have never tried one. I'm most likely never going to try one again, but I told him I would take a bite trying to get some of the cocktail sauce with it. Okay, here it goes. It's not terrible. I've had worse things. After eating the shrimp, we immediately blacked out for a couple hours and now it's nighttime. That's not completely the whole truth, but we'll just go with it. You definitely want to stick around for the nighttime because pretty lights, we all like pretty lights. And this place has an amazing collection of neon and all kinds of lit up dealy mabobs to, you know, gander at as you walk your shrimp coma off. Yeah, so there's a huge collection of neon here. There's old lights, there's newer ones. Um, there is the container park area, which is a really cool area to kind of walk through. And they even have a, I don't want, don't want to say fire spitting praying mask because it fire comes out of its antenna, but he spits fire and he's pretty cool to watch. And then there's also the Fremont Street Experience, which is a pretty cool light show as well. So yeah, lots of pretty lights to see. <laughs> back in the van and we have one last bit of business for this evening remember those donuts we got this morning they're waiting for us and keto she's waiting for us too so obviously we can't try all of these jed so which one do you want do you want to do the strawberry the creme brulee the nutella or what was this other one raspberry cheesecake oh raspberry cheesecake let's do strawberry strawberry okay hey for you guys watching which which one would you try yeah what's your favorite kind of Donut, tell us, because we're your favorite food in general. We're big foodies, so we love talking food. And we are not going to eat all these donuts right now, so. There's a ton of strawberry bits in here. Yeah, like real strawberry bits. Okay, strawberry, here we go. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Yeah. If you love strawberry. They make amazing donuts. Yeah, they do. Ke mm. Keto's trying to eat donuts, too. Mm. Oh. You're not allowed to eat donuts. No donuts for y'all. We'll give you treats later. Mm-hmm. That's good. We may have to go back for that donut grilled cheese. <laughs> Maybe I could eat this whole box. It's better than a shrimp cocktail. <laughs> it's way better than a shrimp cocktail. 
All right, guys, so we hope you enjoyed coming down to Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas with us and checking out some of the local food scene and the art. So the restaurants we covered today, uh, there's there's a ton of restaurants that you could do your own do-it-yourself food tour. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the restaurants have a lot of shareable items. Uh, Carson Kitchen, they have a ton of tapas style dishes, as does therapy. And then the donuts, just get there early and try to go on the weekend. So maybe you can try that um, grilled cheese donut sandwich. Thing. yeah that would be that would be amazing <laughs> but uh you can get your own trim cocktail they're only 99 cents so i mean eat those to your maybe it's because i'm really not a fan of cocktail sauce maybe that's it <laughs> maybe that's it all right guys that's gonna do it for this video make sure you hit that like button that's the like yep mm -hmm. okay Good. the like button subscribe subscribe button which is this motion here <laughs> And leave a comment down below <laughs> on what's your favorite food or whatever we showed today because we're lonely and we love to read comments. Yes, yes, yes we are. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And until next time, stay, stay wonderful. wonderful.